So how'd you guys like the book of Boba Fett? They had me in episode one and two. I know a lot of you guys were telling me that that was shit, and I was defending it. I was like, no, it's it's pretty good. I was blinded by the huts and just seeing new Star Wars characters. It was so refreshing just to see that. Then episode three and four came out, and I was like, I was seeing it. I was starting to realize that it was kind of garbage. Three and four, God, those those were tough. And then episode five and six, and you're like, Whew, okay, all right. Now we're now we're getting back on track. We got Mando in here. We got Grogu in here. We're getting into the swing of things. And then after episode six, there was so much build up for that finale. I was like, oh, this this is gonna be fire. This is going to be absolute fire. Grogu's coming back. Mando's in it. Boba Fett. Oh man, dude. I don't. What is up with Boba Fett? It's like. The chick in it is like his old lady, and she obviously wears the pants. Every time he tries to make a decision, somebody has to shit all over it. He's like, we're going to go back to the palace. No, no. We're, we're like Even the Vespa gang overrides his rule. Man, that was... Uh... They just took a character that we loved and just shit all over him, man. That was... That finale... They like, granted, there was little parts when I like, but I, I'm a sucker. Like, I see this stuff, and I see toy potential. When you got the Rancor monster out there, and Boba Fett's riding it, like, th just seeing that is, is cool. Just, man, my God, that was, it was so bad, guys. I, I mean, I wanted to love it. I went in. Please don't, please don't screw up the Mandalorian. The two episodes that you did with him in there are, I guess, kind of the three. I'm going to pretend like he wasn't in that episode seven because that just, that wasn't it. I was going to do the Swamp Thing video, had it all set up, and then I got this, and I was like, sorry, Swamp Thing, you can wait. Got the Razor Crest. I was really looking forward to getting this thing. I figured you guys deserve to see a review from somebody who actually collects three and three quarter Star Wars, not somebody that just bought it because they want to flip it on eBay. Not that that's a bad thing. If you can make a little cash doing this shit, I, I, I applaud you. I, I'm going to keep mine on my shelf. I still got the Jabba's Palace over there or the sail barge. I'll go ahead and show you that. When I did the sail barge review, I was the only review that bought the cell barge and set it up with every character that goes in it. It was pretty sad to see people buy that thing and then they put like three or four figures in it. That kind of sucked. I am definitely looking forward to this. I'm going to put all the stuff, clip it on there, probably show it to you that way. It does a lot. I mean, of course, it doesn't have lights or sounds or anything like that. Why would it? It was only $380. And now they're making the playset that's $230. But I guess I'll, uh, I don't know how I'm going to do it. Maybe clip all the shit on, show it to you, start taking it off. Maybe take, it, it's it's going to be, a, it's going to be a lengthy video. But you're going to get to see the Razor Crest from somebody that loves Star Wars three and three quarter at least. I don't know, man. It's hard being a Star Wars fan. It's really hard being a Marvel fan. The thing I like about Star Wars is even no matter how bad they fuck up the story, when you see Star Wars and you see Boba Fett, like, that's what Boba Fett looks like. It's not like when you see the Marvel shit and they take a Marvel character, which you know and love, and then the movie version looks absolutely nothing like it, acts nothing like it. At least with Star Wars, you get that. Like, you get Darth Vader. Darth Vader actually looks like Darth Vader. Boba Fett actually looks like Boba Fett, except when he takes his fucking helmet off. Why would you do that? Remember in the last scene when they when they won the battle and he's like walking through the city and everybody's like, oh, hey, hey. And he's got his helmet off and he's got this bright, like glow in the dark teeth. <sighs> Does that look like Boba Fett to you? Like, hey, like the, that big, like, movie star grill. Man, that was... 
I mean, I want to love it. I love seeing the Star Wars. I just love seeing the characters. But man, that's that's tough. Enough about that. Let's check out this Razor Crust. It's not the first time I've seen the side of you. I'm through, and now you're walking on. Stop the thin line, and I'm about to lose my nerve when I walk this time. Cost me so much. Now, even in the dust, everything we had, it threw it away. And I am one step too much. All right, so I got it on the review station. I'm definitely going to have to get a little bit mobile with the camera just because it's so big. And if I get in closer, all you're going to see is like that and i don't want to think think you want to sit there and look at that for the next 30 minutes it comes with all these guns these guns go in the gun cabinet that comes back there we'll show you that in a minute i just want to show you all the guns that it comes with which is amazing i couldn't even fit them all over there then you got more guns over here those little white things there's little bombs they got holes in them for you can actually put those in the gun cabinet once again that's really cool i think that's like just an extra clip for uh one of the guns it comes with all these backpacks. These backpacks randomly clip in there. There's tons of hooks to put stuff like that on there. Has the cockpit cover over there. Here's the cockpit. We'll, we'll take a closer look at all of this. Comes with the Mando figure, his rifle, his jetpack, a soft goods cape where you can actually put him in the cockpit. And then it comes with these two carded figures. These two carded figures alone are going for $5.75 on eBay right now. This thing on your doorstep was 380 bucks. That right there makes me wish that I would have bought two. And I was like, should I buy two? Probably shouldn't buy two. You know that it's going to go up. But then you always in the back of your mind thinking that this is going to be the one that doesn't go up. And do I really want to spend 800 bucks? I don't. But now that these things are going for 575 that might have been a pretty good idea. Let's go ahead and... uh. Clip all the shit on it. I'll show you that, and then we'll take it all off. All right, so you can pop the landing gear off. It's got those little tabs on the bottom. You can fold those out. I'll try to kind of show you how those work, I guess, in a different part of the video. You can put all the panels on. It definitely looks pretty slick. It's got the coffee table stand, which is, God, that's awesome. It really displays well. It's got the motors inside of here on the back side. It's got like a translucent orange, so that clearly shows that there should have been some kind of a light-up feature. But for some reason, they stopped making tears, and then people keep buying them. And I don't know, man. Like, the tears should be endless. But they're greedy. You know, they don't, they don't work like that. As far as popping some of the panels off, I'll take a couple of the panels off. It's kind of weird how it works. They have little tabs on them. You kind of kind of like squeeze them. It's hard to do with one hand. Might have to clip them all off. And this one actually has a tab. Don't cut your fingernails before you get this. This one actually has a little tab so you can stick it in there. Take it off. It's got texture on both sides. And then you can see the motor compartment. This is the one where the, um, the shuttle is. This one might come off. So this one will come off. Once again, texture on both sides. And then you have this little shuttle inside of here. I definitely need two hands to open this. And then you got this whole plate here with paint and texture, which is pretty cool. This big panel comes off. You can push the button. Ooh, that actually worked. Then this whole entire panel will come out. And then you have the carbonite trays there, and they move. So that's definitely a cool little feature. Kind of whatever on the texture on that the blue color it seems like they should have given that a little bit more love but that's nice how you can take this whole thing off and kind of get in there and like mess around with it let me go ahead and put the camera down i'll take the rest of the panels off and show you a look at the ship all right so i clipped the majority of the panels off i don't know who's going to display it like this it is cool if you want to recreate that java that java scene where they basically stripped it down you can kind of get there or at least kind of see what they're trying to go for as far as like price cuts, I'd kind of have it to where the panels don't come off and give us like lights and sound or more characters or something like that or more carbonate trees, something. I don't really understand it. It is a cool feature if you want to recreate the Java scene. So that's what it looks like. This is what the inside of the cockpit looks like. It's really cool. They're right there. 
Let me try to get you. In. There's the joystick, and you can see the threads on the joystick because the Grogu figure that it comes with has a little ball in his hand, so that's why the ball isn't on there. It's right there, if you can kind of zoom in. Maybe I'll take a picture of that and uh, close it in. The cockpit is really cool. I do kind of wish that that door on the back right here would open, but it doesn't really map out to where that would kind of be like a feasible working thing. And then this panel comes off, this gun lifts straight up. The panels that feels like the tabs are gonna break off, it's kind of scary when you pop these things off, but you just gotta go for it, man. Otherwise they're not gonna come off. But that's basically what it looks like with the panels. I don't really dig that look. I do like having this gun out though, but I think I'm gonna display it with the panels on it. Then there's a little escape pod that you can put Mando in or any character that you want. And you kind of put him in there, close them back up. These tabs on here, like, there's like those little weird plastic tabs. They really hard plastic. It feels like they're gonna break every time you do it. It is kind of scary. Once again, this was like, like a, like a, a goal. Like, shouldn't the escape pod just have came with it? Like, how is that a stretch goal? Like, so you were going to give us the ship like this, and then there was just going to be a hole in it. So what, what would go there? That's where the escape pod goes. That is the stupidest fucking stretch goal I've ever seen in my life. Oh, yeah, let's sell them the ship, and then after these buy it for $380, and we'll package this separately, and then they can buy that for, like, 25 bucks, and then put it in the... Man, they're stretch goals. It just goes to show how money-hungry Hasbro is. All right, here's the bottom of the ship. You can see these little uh, compartments right here. Let me see if I can. So these flaps open. This one actually took me a minute to figure out how the flaps work. When it's closed, I thought that they opened in a different area. You know, this one-handed guy, so. And then these will float, fold open. This one doesn't actually stay open. And then the landing gear will clip right into there. And then up here on the top hole, this actually slides and then we'll shut like that. Sorry, one hand, that's, that's all I can reach for right now. If you shut it all the way, it doesn't really stay shut that very good, but here's the bottom of it. Now let's uh, let's get this bad boy right, set so up. So this is how I'm gonna display it. I might put the, I'll probably put the lid back on this. I got the Mando in there without his cape. I got a Grogu in there. That's not the Grogu that came with it, but I got his little uh, basket that he comes with. So you can set him on the seat. That's what he's supposed to sit in. Take a closer look at this Grogu. You can see that he's got that little tiny ball in his hand. And then he's got his little soup cup. And then these are like the chrome, his little uh, baby carriage, which, so they can do chrome. They just don't want to do it on C-3PO or Silver Surfer or anything that we care about. But it can be done. It obviously can be done. Other companies have did it. Here's the Jawa. The only difference between the Jawa is the necklace and the knife and the egg that's cut open. So I don't know, man. I'm having a hard time opening these two. I might just keep those in the package, at least for now. Who knows? Maybe I'll get a little burnout someday, crazy or whatever. Open those things up. So there's the cockpit. Let me take you around. I'll probably have to move some of these figures. I got the gun set up in there. That is a complete pain in the ass to set those things up. Let me kind of show you how I did it. And then uh, you can kind of do it however you choose fit. Let me get a gun. So you take a gun, you set it down flat like that and then you take some long needle nose pliers like this and you grab the gun like that you put it over those little tiny knobs way back there in the back which are already in i don't want to do this you hold this hole that little hole in the gun over one of those holes you hold it over there and you take your finger and you push that over the knob and that will get it in. It takes quite a while to do it. It takes probably like five minutes to put one of those guns in there. It's it's not it's not real easy, but it does look good. The gun cabinet 
does open and close. I got to get these figures out of here. I'm never going to get in here. So they can close. The guns are on the doors also, which is really cool. Glad they thought of that. Then over here on this side, if I can try to get in there, this lower panel lowers down for storage. I think that's where Grogu hid in there. And it is... If you got big hands, you're like screws, which mine aren't the biggest, but they're size large. So they're definitely uh, a little challenging to get in here. Let me try to get the camera off. Let me take it off this stand. Sorry, guys. This is uh, it's not easy to get in here. So back there is the toilet. And then that little tube next to it is like the urinal thing. It's got like a little funnel thing. This thing right here. So that's like, I guess he grabs that, pisses in it. That is really cool. Then the bedroom set. Get that camera back here. It's really, oh, that's not working either. That kind of works. So you can see it back there. He's got like the little hammock up top for Grogu. Man, it's hard to get in there. And then the bed is down low, except for he can't really lay down in there. The bed is like a half a bed because it runs into the cockpit. God, that video probably looks like shit because I, I don't really know how else to do it. And then this thing. Here, this is the freezing chamber. So you can lift this up. And then the freezing chamber can come in and out of that. All these little back, oh, sorry. All these little backpacks will hang here. You can take this out. You can, it's got a little clip on top, like the little hole right there. So you can clip these up top here and then they'll move around, which is pretty cool. So it's got like those slots in it so you can like pull them out of the slot and then slide them all the way down towards the back door, which is also a really cool feature. Glad they thought of that. Man, it's crazy what they can accomplish when they actually want to or they care or try or whatever. So those will slide back out of there. Then you got the cargo net back here. You can take that off, but there's really not much behind it so the cargo net actually looks cooler than what is behind it um and you, plus you can put all those little backpacks on the hooks i think that's uh pretty much it open and close the door i guess i gotta open and close the door a little bit more i think this is maybe how i'm gonna display it kind of open like that i don't know it displays so well every way that you kind of do it it gets dark in there quick when you start closing up panels but there it is i dig this thing man it's um it's definitely gonna look good on the shelf i don't have the stand so it might get a little bit jittery i'll go ahead and show you the sail barge which is over here. I did put a light inside of it. Hopefully the battery, oh, it does still work. I put a light inside of that. It's just like those little lights. So you get those in like the craft section at Walmart. I think it's only like five bucks. And you put that thing in there. I'm thinking about putting one of those in the, in the Razor Crest. Man, that looks good. When you got all the characters that go with that, like you got to be an old collector to to put something together like that. The Razor Crest is cool for like the new collectors because you can get every character that goes with it in like the past year. Or if you got to backtrack, it's not that hard to backtrack. You don't have to backtrack on a e font, man. Which I don't I don't want to flex on you dudes, but I do have an extra one still in the package because it was like my favorite Star Wars character ever of all time. But damn, he looks good. That thing looks amazing as far as shelf space. 
I'm going to scoot over some of this bullshit. Um, all this crappy, like, I don't know, those last three movies were dog shit. I'll probably take all this shit and either... I'll probably squeeze all that down here by this crappy BB-8 playset, which I do kind of like the playset. I'm not going to talk shit on that thing too much. Probably squeeze it all down and put the Razor Crest down here at the end. Just kind of makes more of a statement. I don't know, man. It looks good on the flight stand. It looks good on the regular, like the feet coming out. There's the flight stand. There it is. God, man, that... I don't know, man. I don't know if it looks better with the side panel on. It It's... It's a tough call. Lots of play value here. I definitely love this thing. That's the video. Let's go, Brandon.